Dear members of JC India, glad to meet you all in another tutorial. In this video, let us learn how to use Buy from a JC module in your members portal. To do that, log in into JC India's members portal. From there, you will have access to the main menu JC India under which you can find the menu Buy from a JC. When you click on it, it will take you to the page which can be used to submit your sales information. The most important thing to remember is that the entry has to be done by the seller, not by the buyer. To update a sales information, click on this button, which will take you to the form. Kindly note the instructions that are given here. For all the transactions over 500 rupees, an invoice number and invoice image is mandatory. For all the transactions over rupees 10,000 rupees, payment screenshot is mandatory along with the invoice number and the invoice image. For all the transactions that are above 50,000 and if it is a product, the eBay bill along with the invoice number, invoice image and the payment screenshot are all mandatory. All these images have to be uploaded in JPEG format and has to be less than 2 MB. Let us go through the module about how to use it. When you scroll down, the first thing that the form would ask you is the membership ID. All you have to do is paste the membership ID and click on search which will bring the members information along with their photo if they have updated their members, members photo. Enter the members mobile number and the email ID. Scroll down and over here you can select the business, your business, the seller's business from which the sales has been done. If you have updated your information in the members portal, you will find all your business information in a drop down. If you haven't done that, no problem. All you can do is just click on the plus icon and update your information. The next thing to do is to select whether the sales was a product or a service. I'm going to go with a product. Next thing to do is to type your product or the service that was sold. For this example, let me type a laptop. This is the transaction date when the product, the sales actually happened. So let me say that it happened by happened on 20th of June and the transaction type can be selected from this drop down. For this example, let me code the transaction value as 25,000. In which case, I'll be asked to upload my GST invoice and the receipt of the transaction. Please note the invoice number will also become a mandatory one. This transaction completed date is the date when the payment has actually been realized. That is, if a check has been given for the transaction, the date when the actual payment was received is the date which you have to enter over here. I'm going to type an invoice number for a sample. Now that I have uploaded my GST invoice and the receipt of the transaction, all I have to do is click on save, which will record this transaction. The beauty of this buy from a JC module is that all your sales transaction can be tracked from the second tab and all your purchase transaction can be tracked from your first tab. So if a seller has not updated your sales information, kindly contact them and request them to update in their members portal. Pretty simple. See you in the next video.